Rocks that blazing, yeah, yeah. midnight here in cali and i'm recording this youtube video for you guys this is a highly 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 anticipated video for my ladies who struggle with gaining weight um i'm gonna put some pictures probably right here of how i looked before i started my process of trying to gain weight and yeah y'all i was like really skinny i was probably like 100 pounds 109 pounds max nothing more than that and now I am currently 120, 122 on a good day. Um, I think the biggest that I've ever been in my life was like a solid 130. But that was like two years ago. And I'm trying, my goal weight is to get to 140. So now this video, I'm going to show you guys how I've managed to gain the weight that I have gained. I've gained all this weight over a course of a couple of months. So it's not just like, boom, something overnight. I had to try a lot of different things to um get me to where i am but i'm going to show you guys what i do to gain weight what works for me what's been working show you guys how i make the stuff that i take what i put in it stuff like that so this video is going to be like a bbl prep um weight gaining video what i eat i'm gonna kind of go over the stuff that i eat snack on day to day just to give you guys an idea but yes, I am currently in my kitchen where all this is going to go down. So yes, like I mentioned, this video is for my skinny girls who have a hard time, hard time gaining weight. I know it's not easy. Trust me, it's been very difficult for me as well. But this is how I look now. I look a little chunky. And if I do say so myself, I think I am like very, how do I say? thick for my size i'm like 4 11 and yeah i think i'm kind of chunky for my size which is a good thing um yeah so my bbl procedure is supposed to be in december however i think i'm gonna push it back just because i have not reached my goal weight yet um i'm gonna probably make a whole separate video in regards to like what doctor i'm gonna go to and all that good stuff like how i did for my breast augmentation surgery but yeah enough of the chit chat let's get into weight gaining tips i don't know what you want to call it but yeah like always don't forget to like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on and thumbs up this video again highly 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 anticipated and yeah let's get into it and normally i take my shake in the morning just to kick start my day but I think I'm going to start trying to take them at night just so like after I finish drinking it, I can go straight to sleep. Because you know, when you sleep after you eat, it slows down your metabolism. That's why they tell you not to eat or snack after like a certain time during the night because your metabolism doesn't work to its full potential as you get closer to go to sleep. So yeah, I'm going to start taking this shake at nighttime and see like if that's gonna help with my weight gaining process. As I mentioned, I tried a lot of different products for to help me gain weight. And one of the first things that I've ever tried was a Pitamin. And that's basically the syrup that you see a lot of people selling on Instagram. And basically what it does is it makes you eat a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, and it slows down your metabolism. Um, I stopped taking that just because, one, it was making me super, super sleepy. It was giving me attitudes. I was, like, irritable, snapping at every little thing. Um, and it's also not FHDA approved. I think that's what it is, right? FHDA approved, meaning that, like, the health board has not passed that as that's as that being something that is safe for your body, as that being something that is safe for you to intake into your body so you don't want to take any supplements that's not approved by the health board department whatever you want to say because in the end they can have traumatic effects on your body and your health and you just don't want that you don't want to sit up here and risk your life 
taking any type of pills and supplements to gain weight. It's really not that serious. So being that I stopped taking a Pitamin, I switched to this. And Chloe put me onto this and it's serious mess. Um, what it is is just protein shake. A lot of people that I've talked to take this. And this is just basically like protein powder. It gives you um, 1,250 calories per drink, basically. And so um, it has 50, 50 grams of protein and 253 grams of carbs. I ordered this off Amazon. This powder comes in many different flavors. I think it's like chocolate, banana, vanilla, strawberry. Um, I got vanilla. I've had this for about, I want to say like, five months four months something like that and it's super super big so one is going to be enough if you get this size um and i just take one shake a day after i take this y'all it makes me so sleepy and it just stuffs me up so even though it doesn't make me necessarily eat a lot it gives me all the calories in one shake that i would get from snacking and eating you understand so i'm not saying that i miss meals when i take this i normally don't even eat a lot i probably eat two times a day so you know to make up for them for those calories that i'm not intaking i'll take a shake you know it's easier for me to like drink something to, to like force myself to eat because it never works out but yeah so i have this and it works really really well this is what's been helping me gain the weight that you guys have been seen me on instagram flaunting but yeah and i'll just show you guys like what i put in my shakes because a lot of people put a lot of different stuff in their shakes and i tend to put like the stuff that's really like additional calories make you put on some weight so let's get into my shake so basically everything that you're going to need to make this shake is, well, tonight, these are the things that I'm going to use. Um, silk almond milk, peanut butter, and a banana. Occasionally, I'll put like some ice cream in this, some like Nutella ice cream or strawberry ice cream, vanilla ice cream. It doesn't really matter just because the powder is such a neutral flavor. It's vanilla. You can really just... You can really put anything you want in it. Whatever you like, chocolate, whatever, you can put that. I'm just not a chocolate person per se, so I just stick to like the basics. And so what I do first is I just take my um, powder. I normally would use like a neutral bullet, but um, how big the servings are, it never fits in there. And I normally, again, sorry, I keep saying normally, but I normally do two scoops, but I never finish the two scoops. So I'm going to just do probably like one, one and a half and just see. So I got my blender and this is how much I'm putting in the first scoop. Y'all see how much that is already? And especially when you add everything else in, it's going to be like so much more. So I might just do like I might just do mm, this much more. It's about half a scoop. Okay, I'm not going to put the whole scoop in there just because I feel like that's a lot. So this and because i didn't do two heaping scoops of powder i'm just gonna kind of eyeball how much milk to put in here can y'all see let me do it with my left hand so i'm just gonna put about that much milk put that much milk um again if you're not like a milk lover i hate milk i just feel like to get the most out of this drink i'm just gonna use milk you can use water any other beverage that you like but i just feel like if you were to like use juice or something else it would be really nasty so do either milk or water okay then i'm gonna take a spoon just a big spoon and kind of just scoop some peanut butter sorry y'all i have to smell i always have to smell everything before i put it in so I'm going to do probably like two scoops of peanut butter. Okay. 
guys are going to come up with a song. So, after I put the peanut butter in there, I'm going to take my banana. I can never open up my bananas the right way. I got to open it up like monkeys do from the bottom. And I'm just going to break it in half. Like so. I also put some ice just so that it's really cold. I don't like my shakes to be room temperature or warm or semi-cold. No, like, hey, it has to be really, really cold. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on here like so. I'm going to push um, icebreaker. <laughs> And then so I'm going to stop and check the consistency. This is probably the best one I've ever made. No cap. So this is like, I don't want to spill it, but like, can y'all see? This is like the consistency you, consistency you want. Um, The reason why I put the powder in a blender and blend it up like that is because the powder is like chalky so if you don't like really beat it it's you're gonna have like clumps of powder in your mouth and I just hate that taste and plus I like to add extra stuff into my my protein shakes as y'all can see but if you're that person you don't really care you're in a rush on the go you could throw in one of them little blender balls shake it up and drink it that works too, but y'all know I just have to be extra. I wouldn't be me if I was an extra. So, yeah. This is really good, y'all. There's a few little clumps of ice, but yes, yeah, very good. So, now I'm going to grab me a cup. Are you from the Bay if you don't have a giant's cup? And so, I'm going to just pour in there i have some left over so i'm just gonna drink this real quick i know you guys are probably thinking like that's all she does is just drink a freaking protein shake but yeah seriously that's all i do again keep in mind it also matters like what you're putting in your protein shake if you're not putting like peanut butter and bananas and all the extra stuff like it's not it's gonna do for you but like i just feel like putting all that extra stuff is just gonna really just like take your shake to a whole nother level like you're really just gonna like gain so much weight because peanut butter makes people big like if you constantly eat peanut butter you're gonna gain a lot of like weight um, whether it be like muscle or whatever the case, I know a lot of like bodybuilders and like people who work out, they eat a lot of peanut butter, something about the peanut butter that just helps your body. And my friend who is a personal trainer also told me that peanut butter works really well in protein shakes. So that's why I put peanut butter in mine. And I just said peanut butter like 50,000 times, but yeah. And aside from like my protein shake, what I eat, I really eat normally, normal food. Like today, I ate a cheese quesadilla in the morning. For lunch, I had a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Um, with this shake, I'm probably going to eat like some rice and some pot roast or some noodles. It's something simple like that. You don't really have to eat too much when you're taking this shake. The shake because the shake makes up for the calories that you miss out on on the it, it makes up for the meals that you skip out on the snacks you skip out on this shake is going to do it for you now in terms of my bbl procedure um as i mentioned i have to gain 20 more pounds i'm currently 120 um i'm trying to get to 140 just so i'm not paying all this money and not really getting the results that i really want or 
and paying for it. My original date was October 19th, didn't make weight then, pushed it back to December 7th, not gonna make weight then. So I think I'm gonna do it sometime next year, definitely before the summer hits. I will keep you guys updated on my progress in probably another video. But this was just solely, I just wanted to solely show you guys what I do to gain weight. Um, it's not nothing special. It's not a whole elongated process. It's really three products, really one. And just eat, make sure you eat. When you're tired of eating, still eat, snack. You know, you just, you just gotta force, even when you don't feel like eating, you have to force yourself to eat, like just stuff your face. And before you know it, you're gonna put on weight. But yeah, that's how I managed to go from like, 100 pounds to 122 pounds thank me later leave in the comments down below how this worked for you if you do if you do decide to try it or what other you know tips you guys have to gain weight because maybe there's something else out there that works better than taking this shake that i should try i'm always open to new trying new things new tips um put me on y'all put me on i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's short sweet straight to the point and thank you guys for watching and stay tuned to my next video i'll see you guys later good night